Hello my friends, today we are back on Photoshop and I'm going to show you this cool text trick. Now as a product photographer, most of the time you will not have to work with text, but once in a while you will get a client that will ask you to do something like this. And this is just a trick well knowing. If you look here, you will see our text look like a normal text when it's outside the product and as it goes over the product, it turns into just an outline. Now this is an image I took a few years ago. But let's look at the product photography image that I took just recently. You see here it's just the white text and as it moves over the product it changes into that yellow from the writing over here and it's just an outline. This is a very very simple effect and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Let me delete all these layers and we'll start for the, from the very beginning. So this is my startup image and the first thing I want to do is duplicate it, command J to duplicate my image. Now I will need to select my subject for that. I will just go to select, select subject and Photoshop does a decent job and then I will mask my subject. Now I'll create a new layer and then I will go to my type tool over here and we'll write something down. I will just write product photography. Great. Now I'm going to drag this layer with the text under my product. If you need to change the color of your text, you can take this move tool from over here, double click on your text and over here you can change the color. Let's pick color from our product, something like that. Click OK. So now with this uh, type layer, we need to duplicate it, command J to duplicate it. I'll take the duplicated copy and put it on the very top above my product. So now we have two of the same type, one above the product, one underneath the product. Now with the one on top, I will go to fill. Be sure it's the fill, not the opacity, and I'll take the fill to zero. So now it becomes invisible. Now over here on your layer on the gray part, double click on it to open the layer style dialog and click on stroke. And then here we can add a stroke to our type. We cannot see the type because remember the fill is zero, but we will still see the layer style, uh, which it's just a stroke. Now you can click on this color and choose a color from your product. I already chose the yellow because that's what I wanted for this one. And then the stroke size over here, this is how thick you want your stroke. I don't want mine to be very thick, something like nine, that would look just fine. It could even be lower. There we go. We'll go with something like this and then click OK. Now what I need to do, you see we have this effect under the type here. I'll click on this little arrow where it says effects on the right side to close this dialog. And then I will hold down option for Mac Alt on the window. And while holding it, do not let go of your option. Hover between these two layers and this symbol will appear, which means we are clipping uh, this layer to the layer below. So that creates a clipping mask. Now with this layer selected, hold down command and click the other type layer. So now both of our types layers are selected and then click this icon on the bottom that it's linking them. So now they're linked and with the move tool, when I move it around, you see now both of them are moving in the same time and the properties is changing as it goes over the product, it changes into the yellow outline. And again, I did the same thing over here. And this is the other example. I hope this was helpful and you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing and I'll see you in my next video.